You ought to ask why. What is this? What's the meaning of this? Because you don't ask, although the spear shaft drips, there's neither steading, not a roof tree. We worked quite closely with the David Jones estate to come to an agreement about what kind of illustrative work we were going to pair with the poem. Um, and in reading around um, his work as a calligrapher, I came across Ewan Clayton. Um, so we approached him and he was very keen. He was very familiar with David Jones and his work and this poem in particular and was brimming with ideas about how he could collaborate with us on the project. The Folio Society found me because I was living in the house that David Jones used to live in in Ditchley. And they knew that um, David Jones was a lettering artist. So it then became something that they thought maybe this will work. David Jones was quite influenced by modernism, really, and the sort of primitivism that was around at the beginning of the 20th century. Um, the title for the book, um, originally Down the Spine, that comes from Along Hadrian's Wall. It's quite a primitive feel to it. Um, because there are passages in the um, book which are really quite explicitly awful. To write this poem, he had to revisit all that material from the First World War. And after he'd finished the writing, that what we'd call post-traumatic stress syndrome probably really came up for him. He had to handle all this stuff. This is basically it's soot, which is bound together with gelatine. So there I've just finished it and I'm just pushing it down into the bottom there. And that's enough ink for a day. And then I use a quill and then you cut into the, to the feather like that. And then you have to put a nib slit in so that the ink flows down. The book has an interesting structure. It has a middle section, which is the focal part of the whole book. So the central image in the book is of this sort of blasted tree, but it could also be trench formations. What's been marvellous about this project is that it's meant going back to my roots, my family roots, my artistic roots, and redeveloping them for something now. Yeah, I think this does give a slightly different angle to the war. It's written by a man who was there in the trenches for the whole way through, with an artist's eye. He's not holding back, it's searing. He's not particularly patriotic. Weirdly, he enjoyed the war. <laughs> he enjoyed the camaraderie of it. And you get that. And I think the other thing that David Jones does, which is pretty unique, is he connects this history up with the history of the soldier. And that makes it really interesting, and actually quite relevant now as well, because it's in continuity with now rather than just remembering something in the past. They've served him barbarously, poor Johnny. You wouldn't desire him, you wouldn't know him for any other. Not you who knew him by firelight, nor any of you cold earth watchers, nor searchers under the flares. <coughs> they bright whiten all this sepulchre with powdered chloride of lime. It's a perfectly sanitary war. With the centenary of the beginning of the First World War approaching, there's been a renewed interest in First World War poetry. And with this particular title, we do have something a bit different. 